Hey guys, welcome to uh, my latest edition of my Yuma Skumo theme deck, version 7. Um, it hasn't seemed that long ago since I did version 6, um, but uh, the next set, uh, Judgment of Light, have come out, and uh, it's really, really good. Um, Obviously, there's been one major um, improvement, one major addition to the deck, which is the new XC Monster Hope Ray Victory. Um, but without further ado, I'll, I'll uh, show you the build. It's changed quite a lot again. Um, I've added a few more um, sort of one off cards to try and increase the number of combos I can do because that's really important, I think, for a character deck to have lots of different moves, lots of interesting moves to play. So I'll show you what I've got. So it starts off with two Gargagar -Gar Magician. Um, and the next thing, um, I've changed Gargagar -Gar Girl um, for a second Gargagar -Gar Child or Gargagar -Gar Kid. Um, the reason being is because Gargagar -Gar Child does a lot of what Gaga -Ga Girl does, changed its level, can make any XE, um, depending on Gaga Magician, but it special summons itself without having to need another combo piece. Um, although you miss your battle phase, I can still make uh, Gauntlet Launcher, um, Volcasaurus, Big Eye, um, and take advantage of the fact that I don't have to, I can't battle, because those monsters say they can't battle or they can't battle anyway directly or um, skip your battle phase. Um, so Gaga Child has replaced Gaga Girl um, in the second uh, running up with that. So yeah, it's a, it's a good choice I think. Um, it's been working well. Um, it's a two card combo there to get any XE. Um, Gaga Kaiser, which also combos with Gaga Gardener and Gaga Clerk as well as Gaga Child. Um, See, Clerk also special sums itself. It's not as good as Child, um, but still a good combo card. Um, Gaga Gardener as well. Um, another good card for blocking um, potential direct attacks. One Gaga Girl now, and that's the Gaga lineup. Um, still a very good card, and he has the additional effect of dropping my opponent's special summon monster attacks to zero. So, still well worth running, but. Uh, um, only a one there. Um, one Gaga Giant, Gaga Golem, Gaga Ghost, and Gaga Gigas. Um, still very good. You'll notice I dropped each of these down to one there. It's basically just to get more room in here. Um, I might drop, uh, bring Giant back up to two again. I see. But at the moment, that is working quite well. Um, I did find that I drew Giant before any of the others. Which isn't a bad thing, he's got 2,000 attack points, but I want to draw him after I've drawn some of the others. Um, so I can get the combo out, use his effect properly. Um, I treated myself to a couple of Dodo Buster. They are OCG, Japanese. Um, but that's a very, very good card um, to have. Um, special summon is a level 4 um, from your hand if your opponent's got a monster. Um, uh, it becomes a level 4 then, or you can um, do a combo with it, the reason why I ran 2 is to special summon it, um, make it a level 4, contribute it, normal summon this one, use its other effect, and when it's tribute summoned, you can special summon a dodo -do monster from the grave, bring this one back in defence mode, it's a level 6, overlay into any level 6 gauntlet launcher or whatever, um, I can also use it to bring back my one dodo -do warrior as well. Um, so that's good. Uh, yeah, nice combo there. Um, good for getting out Utopia or whatever, or as I say, a level six or rank six, I should say. Um, I got Goblinburg, one Kage to Kage, super rare as well now from um, the Numbers Hunters packs. One Gunbar Knight, two Gunbar Lancer. Um, again, more combo cards, more sort of one off cards that I've added back in. Tasuke Knight. Um, good card, also a warrior for heroic champion. Um, good to kind of get its effect off if you want to uh, to um, uh, you know block block the attacks for a turn. Um, card Cardis come back. Um, good one off drawing card. Um, he's in here for now. Um, sort of fills up deck space and gives gives more combos. Zubaba Knight, um, very good card for 
killing off defence monsters. Also super rare now. Flauf, um it's still a very good card for changing levels. Um, I run sixes, fives, fours, threes, twos. You can you can add those levels to anything. Make you know um, any sort of gambler announcer in my hand and make him a level seven. You know it's it's worth doing. Uh, a new card main deck, Chuck Chuck Archer. Um, the reason being is because I run a particular spell card now, which allows me to get him out easier. I can tribute summon him. Um, it's nice to have a bit of magic and trap removal in the main. Um, but he is a, a good card, um, which we'll see later on. So that's the the new monster lineup. As I say, a bit more um, a bit more interesting. It's got a few more sort of combo pieces there. So um, yeah. Right, uh, Limited Baron's Force has been replaced by a new card, Numeron Force. Um, very good card. Um, shuts down effects of all face up cards on the field. Brilliant. Great for getting rid of anything, really. Anything that's stopping me. Um, a continuous magical trap that stops me from attacking or, or anything like that. Um, a monster effect like Spirit Reaper that, that sort of bounces me off. I don't have any run two now. Because I haven't always got Utopia on the field, I just find three limited Baron's Force in version 6 to be a few too many. So I dropped it down to two and it seems to be running a lot better now. Uh, still got two Gaga Revenge. Um, again, very good combo pieces. Um, I wouldn't run three because I don't run that many Gaga monsters. But I tend to always have a Gaga monster in the grave. Good for getting back Girl and Magician, mostly. Um, I got Swords of Burning Light. Um, a good attack blocker. This is the new card I was on about with Chuck Chuck Archer, XE Reception. Um, I can summon Gaga Magician, make him level 6, XE Rece Reception, bring out Gaga, uh, Chuck Chuck Archer. It does negate its effect, which is annoying, um, but it, it, you know it's another way of special summoning a level 6. Um, I can also use it with Dodo Buster, Dodo Warrior. Um, he uses Dodo Warrior with this in the series, gets out of level 6. Um, you know, obviously works with all the other cards in there, but it's especially good with Gaga Magician because he can be any level anyway. Then use this and special summon a monster from the hand. So, um, my main deck one XE Reception, uh, Re XE Reflect now, XE Revenge now. Um, <laughs> that's um, it's a, a good main deck card. A lot of people actually summon, not many decks don't. I only run one in the main because not every deck does all the time but I'm always XC summoning so um so I'm likely to have an XC monster in the grave that I can use this for its full effect and one Gaga Wind now again the reason being because I don't run as many Gaga monsters but it's still good still makes it level four um it's good to be able to special summon occasionally so that's the magic lineup the trap lineup changed again one Exe Reborn. Um, you did use this in the anime as well, which is brilliant now, so that's good. Um, very good card, but uh, only run one there. One Exe Reflect. Again, still very good. New card, Exe Revenge Shuffle. Um, it's a good card for sort of getting back Utopia. I like the fact that um, it's changed from the anime and that it becomes an Exe unit. Um, I've added this in. I know XC Reborn's better, but as I said, I'm trying to run one of each sort of card. Um, it's good to uh, get back Utopia and uh, use this effect um, if need be. Um, shuffle key monsters back in the grave and then block an attack with Utopia. Um, yeah, this is just a good, interesting card to play. Impenetrable attack. Pinpoint guard still here. And my new trap, number war. Um, Yuma doesn't use this, but if you think about it, the effect of it is always in play when he duels. Um, I mean, I should run three of these, really, with the numbers that I run, but I only run one. Um, but it's fantastic. Um, also combos well with a new XE monster that's come out in the latest set, uh, Master Key Beetle. Um, wait, if you've got this and this on the field, detach one of his XE units, um, target number wall. Number wall can't be destroyed by card effects unless Master Key Beetle has been destroyed, but Master Key Beetle can't be destroyed. You know, um, people use this for safe zone, but I've obviously got this combo in the deck, so that's a nice little combo. Onto the extra deck now. 
Um, I run two Utopia. Um, did run three, trying to. Um, I have got ways to special something it, so that's good. The new card, Utopia Ray Victory. I will only get this in Ultimate Ray, though it's in Super for some reason. Um, <laughs> I didn't get that. It's the first time I think that's happened in UK that you've got. It's been downgraded from the key card of the box, but never mind. Um, one Utopia Ray. Um, yeah, I, I don't run um, a Utopia Ray V anymore. Um, the reason being is because in... It's a brilliant card. Uh, I don't run it in the main deck, I should say. Um, the reason being is because it's a character-themed deck, and Yuma doesn't summon it now after this, so... Um, I've said goodbye to it in the main deck, but uh, you might see it popping up at some point. Um, one big eye, uh, now limited, so uh, lucky I only run one. <laughs> um, Chronomaly Atlantis, um, it's a very good card, one of my favourite numbers actually. Um, easily summonable with Dodo, Buster, or or um, Cargo Magician, Chuck Chakata with uh, AC Reception. Uh, loads of ways to summon it, really, really good card. Volcasaurus, don't need to tell you about that. Um, Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja's made a comeback. Um, again, really good card. Um, good for blocking traps. Shockmaster, uh, don't need to tell you about that either. The same Master Key Beetle, which can be summoned with um, uh, Gaga Magician, Gaga Ghost. Got loads of darks in there, Kage to Kage, so that's good. Black Ship of Corn, Heroic Champion Excalibur, May Stroke. I've listened to you guys, a lot of people have said to run this. For the time being, until Zubaba General comes out, I'm going to be putting this in the main deck. So, a good card there. And Gauntlet Launcher, which is just godly. Um, so, a lot of numbers cards um, to make use of Number War, but also some good staples or not staple but some very good XC monsters um, to run as well and the side deck last but not least Kree Vault's made a comeback again super rare in number, number centers um, and you'll see why in a bit but good sort of anti XC uh, monster to V Salamander um, I think that's giving you a clue as to what's coming up later. Um, two Gaga Bolt. Uh, two Limited Variance Force. Um, don't... I do understand that you can use any rank up magic for any... Um, uh, you know, ranked up XE monster. I do understand that I don't need to run this for Hope Bray V. But uh, I just love it so much. And... Uh, the artwork's fantastic, and I had space in the extra deck, so I swapped this out for limited uh, for uh, Numeron Force when I need to. Um, as you know, or as you can probably tell now, um, I run Utopia Ray V in the side deck uh, for big decks that run big monsters. Um, I can just capitalize on the fact that they've got large attack points. Um, this is a very good little sort of surprise combo to run. Um, but I just love the, the artwork on this, so uh, it doesn't seem right using Hope Ray V with uh, Numeron Force, so um, just because I run a character deck. Um, another XE Revenge, they run a lot of XE monsters. Another XE Reflect, which is good. This card has become increasingly more useful, um, so I'm running a second one in the side deck just for things like Compulse, um, uh, which gets around Number War. Um, so I'll pop that in. Um, fiery Fervor um, for monsters that increase your know, fire fists and things that increase their attack points. Um, I may take this out for a second number wall, um, but for now that's in there. Um, two Hope Ray V. Uh, I've run two. I may drop that down to one because he's got his effect that he bounces himself back anyway. Um, but again, you know why I run this now. And uh, new number, number 54, Lionheart is three level one monsters which is my Kree Vault so I'll side this in um, when uh, when Kree Vault has been put in so uh, that's it really um, that's the side deck um, and that is 
uh, version 7 of my human schema theme deck. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, always appreciate feedback. Um, I'm already looking at uh, the, the next um, instalment. Um, we've got the Yuma Duelist pack coming up, um, which, uh, if all goes to plan, I'm going to be buying in Japanese, even if the uh, the English one probably won't come out for a while like the last one didn't. So I will be buying it in Japanese. So you'll see things like uh, Trouble Diver, um, Dodo Gasser, Dodo Witch, um, you know, Toy Knight, all those will be going in there. So it's very exciting times. We've got a lot more additions to make. So keep posting, keep subscribing, keep uh, liking. I really appreciate your support in this, guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.